The best part of LEGO 21334 Jazz Quartet is the bums. Look at these curvy jazz musicians. They are definitely all about the bass. Yes, dwelling on derrieres may feel crass, but there's a good reason for it. It's a prime example of the core goal of the LEGO Ideas range, with official LEGO designers literally building on the good ideas provided by LEGO fans. This may well be the ideal LEGO Ideas set, with amateur and professional working together in perfect harmony, which, given that this is a musical-themed set, is wonderfully fitting. Be sure to hit that notification bell, by the way, to make sure you're among the first to get word of new LEGO sets as soon as they're revealed. Now, before we talk about buttocks and trumpets, let's talk about what the ideas range is supposed to be. LEGO ideas sets can sometimes feel like a bit of a gamble. Theoretically, these are collaborations between LEGO fans and professional LEGO designers. Fans design the initial set ideas, fans vote for which designs we like best, then the LEGO group approves a design or two and we wait. There's no way of knowing what negotiations are taking place behind the scenes, and when the finished official model is finally unveiled, sometimes it looks more or less the same as the original fan design, and sometimes it looks completely different. 21333 Vincent van Gogh The Starry Night looks basically the same, there are some different techniques used to recreate the famous painter's brushstrokes. 21332 The Globe has some structural differences to its prototype, but not really enough to be a big deal. 21331 Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone looks looks completely different to the original design to the point that it feels like the designers at the LEGO group took the idea of having a Sonic set and then basically discarded everything else. Designed by Taiwanese LEGO fan Xinwei Chi and approved as a set in 2021, Jazz Quartet was to be a cute little musical display showing off a jazz band mid-performance, bursting with energy and expression. There was a pianist, a bassist, a drummer, and a very enthusiastic trumpet player. The question was, how much of the original design was going to remain intact when the process was finished? The answer? Most of it, as it turns out. At first glance, it's difficult to spot what has even changed at all. This is good news for anyone who's already fallen in love with Chi's initial design for the quartet. One of the challenges of the ideas range is that LEGO fans have a long time to get attached to fan-made designs, and indeed get personally invested in them as we vote for our favourites. And then, the LEGO group unveils something that is not exactly what we asked for. Sometimes even well-meaning changes to that initial fan design can end up feeling like a betrayal. It's different, and therefore it's not what we asked for. Any change to an idea set will be inherently viewed as a negative, unless it brings meaningful, noticeable added value to the set. With Jazz Quartet, the changes are relatively minor. The two biggest changes are the pianist and the stage. One of these feels like an excellent improvement, while the other may disappoint some fans. Chi's original design gave us a very skinny, pale-skinned male piano player. He's been replaced by a dark-skinned woman with amazing hair and a yellow dress. The LEGO group appears to be quite proud of the diversity in the Jazz Quartet, and so they should be. Quite aside from the fact that it's nice to have more diverse characters in a set like this, the new piano player is a more vibrant, interesting design. This is a great example of the LEGO group working with LEGO fans, taking a fan design and punching it up to 11, adding the flair and personality that can only be added by the professional LEGO design team. The only change to hit a bum note, so to speak, is the stage. Chi's stage was filled with interesting embellishments using gold pieces. All of that is gold. It seems like there's a good reason for this, beside the obvious issue of cost. This new stage can be broken apart to allow each performer their own mini-stage. This modular design gives builders more options for displaying their finished work, and is vaguely reminiscent of the recent 10309 succulents. That said, it does mean that the stage is not as pretty. It's an understandable change as it does make the set more displayable, but it does come with a cost to overall aesthetic. At the same time though, the real draw of the set is not the stage, but the people on the stage. The jazz quartet themselves, who brim with life and energy. They may be stationary, but they feel like they're in movement. This is largely down to Chi's incredible initial design, but it's also possible to see small, almost imperceptible spots where the official LEGO designers have added some extra flair and personality. All of this leads us inexorably to the quartet's bums, and how the LEGO designers have improved upon what was already a very solid design. Chi's original design had everyone looking very skinny and stick figure-esque. The revised design gives everyone a little more junk in the trunk. It's a delightful change that makes them feel alive and human as only a well-sculpted backside can. This then is the great success of 21334 Jazz Quartet and indeed the LEGO Ideas range as a whole. An initial model design has been submitted by a fan, and professional LEGO designers have not changed it so much as they've augmented it, building on what was already there. In much the same way that a Jazz Quartet will build on each other's contributions. That rhythmic drum beat, that solid bass line providing an initial framework that then can be spiced up and embellished by some more expressive piano or trumpeting. It's nice to have a set that perfectly sums 
summarises the entire LEGO Ideas creative process. Thanks very much for watching, and if you'd like to support our creative process, be sure to purchase your LEGO sets through our affiliate links. Also be sure to head over to BrickFanatics.com for more news on this and other upcoming LEGO sets, sign up to our newsletter, and have a lovely day.